It's garbage day and I can't believe what I'm seeing. My neighbor is throwing away a microwave. The saying goes that one man's trash is another man's treasure. And for me, this donation is a treasure trove just waiting to be uncovered. The first thing I need to do is get this on my workbench and put it back together. I want to know if the thing actually works, so I'll plug it in and test it by nuking a CD. This electric blue light show is a good sign it's working, and it's a good thing I don't really need this CD because it's totally fried. I've got a 60 watt light bulb I want to try on high heat for about 30 seconds, and I'm fascinated by how it immediately lights up. It's a great show, but I'm standing about 20 feet away because I'm thinking this may not end well. The glass is warping at the top, and it's just exploded. This base is all that's left besides all the broken glass. Okay, enough playing around. It's time to unplug the microwave and get serious. I've got the microwave turned around so I can start unscrewing the fasteners. I've got this old speaker magnet I can use to hold the screws as they come off, and that's really helpful because there are a lot of screws. My general rule of thumb here is see a screw, remove a screw, because they're all gonna come out. I'm working on the bottom panel now, and before I move on, I'll save this little light bulb. It's rated 75 watts at 250 volts. By removing the bottom panel, I can access a fun little motor. This is the motor that drives the turntable you put your food on. I'm moving up to the top of the microwave to remove the screws up there and this will allow me to pull the vent cover off as well as the outer casing. At this point I've got access to some dangerous components like this high voltage capacitor, the magnetron, and a high voltage transformer. Now there's a possibility these capacitors carry an instantly fatal electric shock. So I'm wearing gloves and using a pair of needle nose pliers to short the terminals and discharge it completely. I'll save this high voltage diode and get to work on removing the transformer. Four screws hold that in place and when they're removed the wires are disconnected from the magnetron. It's a heavy maze of metal, and I'm happy because I've got a lot of uses for it. The magnetron is the component that generates the microwaves that cook your food, and I've got that disconnected now. While I'm here, I'll salvage the power cord, this charcoal filter, and an AC blower motor that's still in great shape. Here's another high voltage light bulb and some switches. These three switches prevent the microwave from turning on until the door is shut. At this point, the control panel will push out, and the circuit board is removed so I can collect this piezoelectric buzzer and some relay switches. I'll use a desoldering iron to remove the solder, making it possible for me to salvage the 12 volt power transformer. I also got the buzzer out and some other fun goodies like this 15 volt voltage regulator. These germanium and shot key diodes are useful and a whole slew of other treasures that I'll explore later. I'm super excited because what would have cost me hundreds of dollars to buy new, I just got for free. But wait, there's more! This magnetron is still hiding a couple of super strong ring magnets. I'll use my bench vise to hold it tight while I rip the casing off with a pair of pliers. When the sides are folded down, I can save this mesh washer, recycle the aluminum bits, and with some leverage from my chisel, slowly pry off the magnet. There's still another one hiding under the fins of the heat sink. I've just got to clip these two wires and carefully use my chisel to separate it off the metal. Now I've got two super strong ring magnets that are so much fun to play with that I went and found two more microwaves just so I could get some more. The magnetrons look exactly the same, and the magnets are all about the same size. Now I've got six I can use in a future levitation project. I also got two more mots, which I'm super excited about because they're a ton of dangerous projects I can use these for, like unbalanced high voltage electrical arcing, or these instantly fatal traveling arcs. How about improvised spot welding, or dangerously exciting metal melting, and even makeshift AC stick welders. I feel like I made out like a bandit on this project, and these salvage components will lay the foundation for many projects to come. If you'd like to see more projects, let me know by becoming a subscriber and you'll be notified when I upload them. Click the thumbs up button and share with your friends. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.